Alright, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my humble channel, and obviously my fellow aviators. Today we are here in this beautiful Airbus A320 at Frankfurt International Airport. You can see a rainbow back there in the background, and you may notice something very, very cool that you might have seen on some other videos on YouTube, and that is this lovely camera movement that looks as if you are watching through a GoPro on the pilot's head. Oh, once those alarms get away here, click that out. Alright, and that is exactly what I will be showing you today. And this is probably, in my opinion, the number one best immersion add-on for any flight simulator. I'm pretty sure this works with DCS as well. And the cool thing about this, it is completely free. Now, I'm also not someone that likes to mess with uh, these free add-ons that you have to manually install into your files. And the reason I say that is because if you're also that type of person that likes to keep you know, your computer safe, you don't want to mess with free add-ons where you got to paste everything in your files and all that stuff, then this is also an add-on for you because the install process is extremely simple. Now, let me go ahead and stop the tracking for a second. So, there we go. Alright, perfect. I will be showing you how to install this now, as it is super, super easy. Now, first step will be, I will leave links in the description below, and that is these two links to GitHub. Now, one is OpenTrack, that is what this is, and this is basically the program that will connect what your camera input is to the sim. Now, while I say camera, let's go over the things you'll actually need for this to even work. Now, you might have heard, for instance, of Toby Eye Tracker, which is obviously you have to buy the eye tracker, and I think the software is payware as well, and there's a few other payware. Uh, hardware that, or not hardware, software that you can use to basically uh, track your eyes and to add that kind of immersion into the sim. But what this does is it's very, very cool. First of all, completely free. The only thing you will need is a webcam. Now, webcam, you can get one for, I think, like anywhere between 50 to 100 bucks. It doesn't have to be the best webcam there is out there. Mine, for instance, is a Razer Kaijo, Kaijo, I'm not sure what it's called. It is uh, 1080p, 60fps, and yours can be 30fps without issue because the program actually, I think, runs on 30fps just perfectly well. That's what I have mine set on, I think. Um, so yeah, the only thing you're going to need is a webcam. Now, that out of the way, you're going to want to go to this link, which will be the first link I'll put in the description. This, as I said, will be the program that actually connects um, your input from your camera and uh, basically converts that into this camera tracking motion that then puts it into your sim. Now another cool thing is that you don't have to mess with any settings to try and connect this to the actual simulator. The simulator will automatically realize this pro or will actually, sorry, automatically, um, how do you call it, sense this, uh, this program that's running and basically put all the inputs into the sim almost as if this was basically made by Microsoft itself, that's how easy it is. And the other program you'll need, uh, first of all, actually, let me show you how to actually get this then. So you'll see here, this is a pre-release, this is the one I have and it works absolutely perfectly, is you're going to want to go here to OpenTrack 2023 Windows 32 Setup EXE, and it's basically like a normal Windows program, it's a uh, setup, you just want to click through that. And another thing to mention here that I don't see a lot of people mention is you do need a desktop shortcut for this to work properly and for the sim to basically detect it running. I don't know why, but make sure you uh, make a desktop shortcut of this program. That's this little octopus here. And uh, then you're all set on that. Now the other program is the AI track. And um, what this basically is, is it um, basically captures your webcam and detects your face through your webcam. You might say it's some Chinese tracking stuff, <laughs> but it's not. You're good, as far as I know. But um, no, this is legit. This is what everyone uses. 
and you're just want to going to go here to the zip file you're going to download that zip file extract it and then i just paste it in my c drive and you're all good to go so as i said this ai track stuff basically um, detects your face through your webcam and tracks your face and then this program basically takes this ai track data and puts it into your sim so those are the two programs that you will need now moving on I will show you those two programs now. That will be this and this. Now let's hop back into the sim here. Let me quickly go ahead and get these programs up here. All right, there we go. Now, here we have the AI track, and here we have Open Track. Now, to start uh, to see your face here, you're going to click Start Tracking, but to check the configuration first. You're going to want to select your camera here. There should only be one there. You're just going to want to click on that. Mine's camera zero. Width, height, FPS, just leave that as it is, as I have that. Now here, your IP, that should be there automatically as well as the port, but you're going to want to make sure the port is on 4242. Now distance, how far you are away from your camera and your camera FOV. I haven't really changed this. I'm not sure what mine really is but I've just left it there and it works fine. So just gonna wanna make sure what kind of FOV your camera has. And then everything else you can leave. Make sure this is port 4242. Then you're gonna wanna hit apply and you're all set on this program. Then you just wanna click start tracking and you should see your face there with the uh, tracking software working. Now here for open track, uh, for input, you're gonna wanna select UDP over network and here you'll see port 4242. This basically makes sure that this tracking software connects to this over this port. And that's really it. Here, output free track 2.0 enhance and filter Acela. Just gonna wanna leave that. Now, here you can create your profiles. And then you can also go to options here. I have space to recenter my uh, tracking. That means if you like get out of your camera's view ring range and it like messes up your tracking, you can recenter pressing space or you just center at startup so you close stop the tracking and start it up again then it'll recenter. Now only other relevant stuff here is the filter to smoothen out your uh, tracking and that's really it. Now for mapping this is what I kind of have here you can tune that to your liking however you wish that means so how far you basically tilt your head how much it will tilt in the sim you can do that for y'all pitch roll XYZ and that's kind of now you see what I have there. You can pause and maybe do that for yours as well. And other than that, you just click start. And make sure you have this tracking as well. And you should see this squid moving with your head. And it will automatically, if you have the sim running, automatically connect to the sim. And you should see your head moving in the simulator. And that is as simple as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely it. That's all you need and I hope this was useful for you. That's basically what everyone uses. I mean, obviously the pro professional YouTubers out there have got the eye trackers probably with all the payware software, but not everyone can have that. I don't use it either, and I use this because this works absolutely flawlessly. Uh, obviously, sometimes if you move your head out of the range, it might mess up tracking, but that's the same even with those payware stuff. So this is the absolutely best add-on for immersion that I can uh, that I can give you here and I can only recommend it. I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> I'm not even sure who makes it. I think it's someone private. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it just absolutely works amazing and it adds so much immersion to your simulating experience as you don't have to look around with your mouse anymore. You can tilt your head, look around to the knobs and the switches that you need to turn. And uh, yeah, it's just absolutely useful for any scenario. And I, like I said, I hope this tutorial was short, simple, so that it uh, also allows you to uh, download this and enjoy it because it really is awesome. And I also want to thank you guys for uh, checking out the channel, stopping by, especially on my last video. I love all the support with the likes and the comments uh, that you guys gave me on the last video. I love interacting with you guys, and uh, yeah, I think it's a great opportunity for us to. Uh, share our dream for flight and our passion 
So if you've got any more questions or anything that I can uh, cover on this channel, then I will be glad to receive a comment and I will respond to you as soon as possible. But other than that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Stay safe. Have a lovely... <laughs> I don't know even what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, you guys take care. Happy landings and stay safe. Till next time. See ya.